All right. After a while, trying to put snowflakes on, it got a little tedious. And there is um, a tutorial somewhere on the internet that tells you how to make a snowflake brush. So you can make that brush in Photoshop and then you can just brush your uh, snowflakes on. I believe you can do the same thing with anything like stars or something like that. So, um, but what I did after a while of trying this many times and getting frustrated, I just uh, decided to get some from the internet. So I put a few on, but I'm gonna go ahead and open another image that I got off the internet. And you're gonna see that it doesn't match in several ways, but by using blending modes and using transform, I can change it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drag it over right now. And because it is um, not a photo image, uh, the, the resolution is lower, but you can take this and stretch it out and not lose quality. So I'm holding down shift. If you have an older version of Photoshop, you can just do this without doing that, I believe. So I'm gonna kind of get it lined up, make sure you get it lined up on the edges. Uh, you might try different images of snowflakes. Okay, now I'm gonna to commit to that. But of course now you, you, it's too dark and I can't see the trees anymore and I wanna see those trees. So now I have to go to the blending modes and I'm gonna start with dissolve and just once I select one, the um, box turns blue, put your mouse pointer in there and just rotate the wheel. And what I found with this one is that uh, lighten produces a nice result. As you can see now though, I do have some ridiculously large snowflakes uh, behind Baby Yoda and behind the tree. However, because uh, this layer has another layer behind it, you may have to play around with that. Um, I can go ahead and erase what I don't want in the background without affecting anything else. I hate to take out any of the snow because it looks so cool. That I think is actually maybe an error or it could have been a snowflake. This was kind of annoying right here. You see, I can just go right on through and because um, my eraser tool is behind him or underneath him, I can do this. Okay, and then that's the way you can add um, snow. And now, depending upon your background, if I didn't have this uh, background layer that's lighter on the edges, it would work even better. 